Alright, so this is a guide um, for autonomous programs and also for um, just basic um, how to get motors moving and this is all about DC motors basically. And so, let's start. Um, basically, like I talked about in the, my first guide, I believe, um, if you have, as soon as you get a new robot, one of the first things that you need to do is to make sure you set up this um, motors and sensors setup. And so, right now, we just have one motor controller. And if you were to just get a basic robot, you'd have one motor controller, and you'd go to motors and name the motors right and left, and reverse a motor. And like I said, you'd figure it out. All stuff we have learned before. What we haven't learned before is how to get these to work. And so, notice that we have this warning here. And every any time, I should have done this before, but any time we have an error, we or something we get warning. So this is saying similar right and right, right and left for capital or small case right and left. So notice I I have these uppercase. So you kind of want to make sure that you have these consistent. So if I were to F7, which just compiles it, it doesn't actually go to NXT. This is to make sure that it works. Um, we have it all right. And wait, basically you have a motor right going at a hundred percent so motors are all about like the like the um, power of the motor so like if I were to do motor right equal hundred um, it's basically going at a hundred percent so I would keep this a note um, telling it to go at one hundred percent but if I were to do something and this is to wait Wait, because basically once you tell the motors to do something, it doesn't actually do anything until you tell it to do, until you tell the motors for how long. So this is for one second. So basically, you're telling the motors to do this for one second, and once it's done, it will stop. So if I were to do, you do motor, bracket, um, right, and see how it types it in for you. Like, because it knows that it's there. That's always a good sign. And if I were to do a negative 100, let's just write that. Wait for 100. This is reversing the motors. So this is telling it to go the, to go the other way. Like you, um, basically, and it's telling them to spin the opposite direction at 100 percent. And you can do 50 percent or 30 percent. And um, one of the basic programs that I know uh, Dr. Spencer had me learning first was how to get um, my robot to just go in a basic square. And all that is is just telling the motors to go at whatever speed you like for how long and then having them turn and then having them go forward again. And, you know, to make motors turn, if you had a right and a left motor and you wanted it to turn right, what would you do? You would make the right one go forward and the left one go back. Um, hopefully, we all know that for sure. Um, um, so basically, that's all we really need to know for that. Um, another important thing, just for autonomous purposes, is we have this thing called wait for start. And we have a joke going on and when I went to when I was in robotics is that wait for start is very, very important. Um, basically, um, this is just a sample code, like I commented out. I don't wanna I'm not gonna put it in here. But if you were to have wait for start, you'd you put it under task main, but you would have it you would just basically um, copy it and put it right in here. Wait for start um, doesn't start the program until the competition starts it. Um, you only need this if you're running it through Wi-Fi or you're running it um, through the actual competition. So you want to make sure that you have this wait for start. Um, and that is all, that is just very important to know. Um, to have this wait for start work right, you have to have the right include files for it. And so you have this common.h and joystick driver. Um, these are just two include files I talked about in my first guide. Now that since we um, had those directories included, we can now include these up here. Um, I think 
let me look here, but I think that is all I really have for this um, guide. I know it was really quick, but there isn't too much to know about um, these motors and these um, and how to work them. It's very very simple. And if you ever forget, you can just open help and just t and search and do motors, uh, motor functions, and. Basically, it's all right here. Um, it is an extensive, really good guide for you guys to know. Um, it just this is exactly what I said: forward, reverse, power, um, and anything. There's much more um, stuff to deal with, like synced motors and all this advanced stuff that um, maybe I will have a chance to put on. But if not, you can just go to this guide and um, learn about it yourself. It's very self-explanatory. Um, thank you for watching, and bye.